All right, I'm going to play a couple of licks. I'm going to blend these licks together. They're from uh, the Phantom Regiment Drum Bugle Corps, a couple of solos that I wrote in 1988 and 1989. So some ancient history, but they're still cool. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to first play them and then explain what I'm doing. So here we go. Okay, here's the lick again at a slower tempo, and then we're going to break it down piece by piece. All right, so we're going to start with the very first thing we play, and that's two flams. Real important to keep the grace notes down. Notice my grace note hand was very low. So right hand. The second thing I play is a seven stroke roll. We call this a lift seven, and it's slightly out of time. That's right, can't play with a metronome because we're going to slow it down slightly just to give it a little lilt, which is uh, stylistically correct or different or whatever. It's, it's cool. And um, this is how that goes. So if here's the tempo. I'm going to I'm going to slow that 7 just down just a little bit. Okay, so there's some breath and then I play the seven stroke roll nice and big. And then from that point on, I'm going to play in time metronomically. The next lick I play is basically flam accents with a diddle on it or putting cheese on it. I'm going to put an accented diddle, and uh, you don't want to force that. So just make sure you don't force the diddle too much, kind of finesse it. So here's flam accents, and then with the diddle. But I don't want to press too hard. It'll distort the diddle. Okay, so here's the lick up to that point. And then I just ended it with three flams on the right hand. And that's probably, for me, one of the toughest parts is just getting the timing of the grace note and the primary. They're both bounce strokes, rebound strokes, but at different heights. Okay, so one more time, the beginning of the lick to there. The next part is a rim shot on the right hand, right on the E, and it's a double right. So right tap, and then a right rim shot, like this. I missed the rim shot. There we go. Play an upstroke on the tap, so it's real quick, a little flick of the wrist. And that's what makes, that's the funky part of the lick. So just to do that, use a, use a quick upstroke, and you're there. So that makes it funky, that little lick right there, and then the next thing we play is a five-lit pattern. One, two, three, four, five, one. Skeleton. And then I'm going to put roll diddles on all the taps. I'll slow it way down. Okay, it's like a six-stroke roll, but we're sticking an extra diddle in there. So it's really an eight-stroke roll, which is no such rudiment. But there is now. So I'll play up to that point uh, with adding two more flams on the end of that lick. And that's actually the first lick that um, we played in 1988 in the Phantom Regiment drum solo. That's a snare lick. So it goes like this. The second half of this lick is from 1989, and we're going to play with those fives again. Two of them. One starting on the upbeat. So it's going to start on the upbeat of one and end on the upbeat of two. It goes like this. And then I play another one starting on the left hand. 
Okay, so boop, bar, ka, da, bar, ka, da. But they're fives. I'll play it without the rolls. All right, and it starts with a tap, soft tap on one. Don't accent that. That makes the accent on the end of one have that much more pop. So let me play that lick up to tempo one more time. All right, the next thing is a little triplet. Okay, and I like the triplet. Actually, the triplet is, is easy to play, but the timing has to be right. And I've had more people rush that triplet than anything in the piece. The easiest part of the solo is the one part that they screw up every time. And it also is a great contrast to what's about to come up, and that's some, some fast uh, 30 second notes. So the next thing we have are flam fives, but we're going to play them off the same hand consecutively. So there's three, I think there's three, let me play it in a second, I'll tell you. It's three flam fives off the right hand. It goes like this. I was right, it was three. And then I had that same thing I had before, a tap and then a rim shot on the E, which makes it funky. Okay, so I've got flam fives. Let me slow them down. It's just a five stroke roll with an accent on the beginning. But when you have an accent on a diddle, I think of it more of an emphasis than an accent. Don't slam the accent or you'll distort the diddle. So it goes like this, without the flam and with, without the, with the five stroke roll. Okay, that's the lick. I'll add the grace note. All right, and then up the tempo. One more time. All right, the next thing, you got two left hand 16th notes and it leads into this little 30 second note single stroke lick. And the lick is basically this. That's it. Now I gotta use some upstrokes so I can go fast, right? When I practice this, I wanna practice it with a really uh, nice flow to the, to the strokes. So that's the lick on the end. So let me play the flam fives, two little left hands. Buzz, good, good, good. Here we go. All right, so that's the end of the lick. Let me play the whole second half of this thing we put together, this little Frankenstein lick. This is the snare lick from the uh, Phantom Regiment drum solo in 1989. Alright, so one more time I'm going to play the whole lick from beginning to end, both licks put together. But remember, you got to break it down and slow it down so you can throw it down. Alright, didn't just come out playing the lick all together. You got to take each part and practice it individually and then piece it together slowly. But here we go, the final result. 